Welcome or welcome back to Tiny Tailpad C squared. In this example, we have two lines L1 and L2. They are called. These two lines are parallel lines, and we have two transversal lines T1 and T2. And you notice we have a bunch of angles formed here. They want us to find uh, the value of A, B, and V. And I'm going to start with uh, A and B. These two. If you notice, these two angles are formed by the line L1 and L2 and the transversal T1. So I'm going to make the picture a little bit simpler. Okay, so these are the two parallel lines, L1 and L2. And, and this is the transversal. And you notice here we have eight angles. That's the thing I said here, we have eight angles. Uh, a, B are two of them, and then if you notice, we have this 62 here. So how am I going to use uh, what I see here in this simpler picture to find my uh, value? And if you notice, this 62 degree and this angle B are congruent because they are what we call corresponding angle. So I start with angle B, I'm going to call it corresponding angle. Okay. Uh, and now I can find easy A because I have this B62. Angle A and angle B, A and B, are supplementary. They form this line. They form this uh, line, which is called L1, I'm sorry, in the original picture. So let me be sure I'm consistent here. Okay. So... One more time, if you take a look, uh, these two angles are supplementary. So I'm going to write here the measure of angle A, let me call it like that, plus the measure of angle B is 180. They form that line L1. They are a linear pair. Uh, and as you know, we did that in the previous step. The measure of angle B is 62 degrees. So the only thing we need to do is to subtract 62 from 180 and we have the measure of angle A equal uh, for 8 uh, here and 118 118 so that is A 118 B62 now we can move to uh, the next uh, angle or the next variable which is v and you notice that is down here this is one of the eight angles created by the line l1 l2 and the second transversal so i'm going to do here a simpler picture okay this is l1 This is L2, and this is the second transversal. And as I said, V is right here, right? And we notice we have a 96 here. So uh, if you take a look to this picture, and uh, which I know I really do not suggest is as a math teacher, right? Uh, these two angles are not congruent. One is obtuse, one is acute. But which angles are congruent? 96, and this guy, for, for example, are congruent because they are corresponding angle that is angle s right so the measure of angle s will be 96 degree because it's course they are corresponding corresponding angle and now the same idea here if i'm looking Angle S and angle V are supplementary. They are a linear pair. They form this second line, uh, L2, how it's called. So the measure of angle S plus the measure of angle V will be 180. They are a linear pair. And angle S is 96 degrees. So the only thing we need to do to find the measure of angle V is to subtract uh, 96 from 180 which i'm going to do it now and 
and we end up with the measure of angle V being 94 degree and that's it so we have a b and v now if you enjoyed this video clip don't forget to click the like button and come back on c square for more help thank you